This is a, a Wayne's coating of 150 square foot with ledge caps, and I'll show you this, but staining this or rock is the same thing. Now, again, there's a lot that I could talk about, and I'm not gonna do it in this video. I'm just gonna shoot and do some videos, but by next two videos, we're gonna go into some details. I'm gonna mix this first batch here, nine parts of water to one part of the paint. Okay, so what I've done here is I've made three different, here's my base color of orange that I've always used individually. All I did was one-to-one, -one, orange to the yellow, temple gold, and then this is straight, and then this has got four parts of brown to one part of orange. Typically, I just use this color, and I cover all these panels to where I cover about 30% of the area randomly here and there. Then I come by with black, randomly cover another 30%, and I leave 30% of this. That's my, my first move, is to add some color to randomize. Again, the dilution rate on this is a four water to one paint. The paint was three parts of brown to one part of orange. Here, this is a um, orange that I diluted nine to one. This is an orange that I diluted six to one. And again, the paint was one to one, one yellow to one orange. It got, uh, I got the door closed. Even with the door open, I still don this thing. It's an LED light that I've got at my chest, and everything that I look at gets the same light. Because if you had different lights around, you'd get different uh, exposure, and you would think you'd have the same color, but you don't. So this gives me uniformity. So again, nothing real crazy. You can always add more, you can't take it off. It's, a, it's immediate stain. And this, I got the air down where it's almost like a bunch of speckles, but it melts together and makes a color. Oop, I'm just gonna turn it up just a little bit. I can come back and put more on. I'd rather than, than try and um, put it on real heavy. Remember, it runs. I'd rather not have runs and come back and have to... Uh I've got a tan that I've mixed three to one, and this is what we call a skim, where you take a brush and you go parallel to the surface, not like this, but you lay it and you skim across it. And what you end up doing is hitting the highs and accentuating them. And you're also placing another color. So I usually throw out the color, and then the first time I touch, it's very light because this brush has got the most moisture in it it's going to ever have. So right now, just literally, it's just barely. I mean, you got to try and get some of this off. And as you go, you're going to use more and more uh, pressure because you'll be running out of liquid. And then you'd reload your brush again. But you're looking for a skim. And again, you can see it kind of hitting the highs. Sometimes a two inch brush works better on this stone than does a uh, three inch, but that's, that's all right. It's, it can still be done. Now this, again, you wanna be uniform with this particular color. The randomization that we've done has already been completed. Now everything we do from this point on is gonna be consistent or uniform across the surface. So now I'm just looking for areas that haven't gotten skimmed 
because when I'm going this way, I can't get in that corner. So I'm looking now. And I wanna, I want all the rocks uniformly done, like I said. Okay, so we've got the skim all done. Now I've mixed up a gray, which is basically five parts of white and one part of black, and it makes a green and uh, gray. And you can have I say to my class, my customer, whoever I'm doing a paint job for, what's the what's the one word that describes your your is it gray? Is it brown? Is it tan? What is it? Now this is not a gray rock, okay? And I've done this class after class after class. And when I get done with the paint job, I said before I start, I say I'm going to make a gray rock. And when I get done with the class or that that's painting it, then I go, okay, class, by show of hands, uh, how many of you think this is a brown rock? Nobody raised their hand. How many think it's a tan rock? Nobody raised their hand. How many think it's a gray rock? And it's gray. This rock is going to be gray. So what we're looking for, there's our green speckles on there, but... And I'm trying to whitewash this, almost. I don't want to completely whitewash it because then I don't see none of the color, but I don't like this loud color that I've got right now and I want to make it disappear. So again, just inundating one layer right now, just as a test. And I'll go by and do all the panels at this level. Just a nice little squirt pass. And the other thing is I'm looking at the left panel to the right panel. And that, that's my first attempt of muting what's underneath that loud black and orange and gray. That's my first attempt. And again, I can't, I almost put too much on as far as a run, but I don't see any run. So I'm just gonna go through and do that first coat again throughout the entire piece. And then I'll come back to you. And we'll let that set up a little bit. Okay, so I've let that first coat dry and you can see it's toned down now um, a little. It still needs more, but I don't want to rapidly apply it. I want that to be dry to touch. There's no glistening. It's dry and I've got the heat on in here so that it dries a little quicker, but it's not really drying all that quick. But right now, again, another pass. The other thing I was doing, got to hit these edges because... You don't do that from the face, or you can't. So again, just trying to inundate this with some good speckles, not too many. You get too many in there, like I say, it runs. And if that surface was wet underneath there, more so. All right, um, it's damn near dry. I'm kind of of the mindset that that's good. I don't want to mute it too much. But I'm also tired, and uh, it's about 8.30, and I'm going to go get some dinner and uh, try and uh, look at it in the morning and see what it looks like then, because it's, it's hard to tell. Anyway, I'll be back with you. Okay, this is a photo of the actual panels the next day, and the light in the shop is really bad and always has been, so... I called it good here at this point, but the light of this exposure really didn't give you a good representation. So the next clip, a video clip that I'm going to put up is going to show you more accuracy. But this, this kind of looks almost tannish when really it's a gray.